A heads up if you're planning to visit the zoo in the upcoming days. Several exhibits are closed because of an avian flu death there. The Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium announced the Simmons Aviary, Lead Jungle and the Desert Dome have closed for at least 10 days. A pink backed pelican died Thursday from the avian flu and a second pelican got sick Friday and was euthanized. No other zoo birds have shown symptoms or required testing. And to be clear, you can still visit the Kingdom of the Night exhibit in the dome, but nothing else there. The avian flu has spread around the country for months, not only affecting the zoo, but us at home. 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis spoke with experts about what's being done at the zoo to curb the spread and what this means for your Thanksgiving dinner. It affects the birds so fast that you don't really have time to to treat them or to do anything about them. It was only hours between the time zoo workers noticed a pelican might be sick to the time they found him dead. They immediately suspected bird flu, even though cases around the country slowed during the summer. And now uh, with the fall migration, we're seeing a resurgence of cases. So uh, we've had to increase the biosecurity things that we're doing. Those safety measures include closing some exhibits. Wild waterfowl like ducks and geese largely spread the disease. Dr. Sarah Woodhouse believes that's how the pelicans got sick. Our biggest concern is largely having people walk through waterfowl feces on accident um, and then walk into one of our exhibits like the jungle or the desert dome or the aviary where we have a lot of free ranging birds uh, and that gives those birds an opportunity to come into contact and get infected with the virus. Avian flu isn't just affecting places like the zoo. It's also probably affecting your pocket. It's making it harder to get things like eggs and poultry from the grocery store. And, and so when you talk about cost push inflation, it's either uh, producing less and or at higher costs. And, and unfortunately, we have both of those right now. I mean, it's disappointing, of course, um, but we kind of understand what's going on in the world. So just kind of deal with it. Production costs are up and the avian flu is impacting production ability. You're especially seeing that represented in cost of eggs. There's more substitutes for turkey than there is for eggs. So we need eggs in certain products um, when, when, we're, when we're making things as well as having table eggs. When you think about um, consuming turkey, there's other options. So while prices at the store might be somewhat shocking, don't be surprised by what you see at the zoo. We've gotten a couple of sort of wavy arm guys, <laughs> I don't know what else to call them, um, to try to discourage the waterfowl. Just the erratic movement of those um, guys, don't it, it, it discourages them, essentially. So, um, so we'll be looking at trying to get waterfowl off of our premises. Hoping to stop wild birds from taking a dip in their lagoons. In Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. Well, while the prices of eggs, poultry, and even things like beef may be going up, experts believe the biggest hike in prices is behind us.